So in this box is the iFootage Shark Nano Slider. You may have seen some videos about this when it launched a couple months back. I've been in the market for a new slider because of so many of your comments about the shakiness of the last one that was attached to this desk. And let me assure you that there have been some massive improvements to this setup to uh, eliminate the shakiness that you were seeing before. Now, uh, I just want to call one thing out before we go any further. Uh, there was some chatter in the comments about some uh, choppiness in some of the video shots, and that is attributed to the Atom Mini Pro ISO. Um, and basically what happens is when you send in a bunch of different signals uh, at, with different HDMI cables at different Hertz rates, uh, the, the, the device has to do a whole bunch of thinking and recalculating and recalibrating, and sometimes it doesn't do that that well. Also, I noticed that it gets a little bit hot, so they're supposed to fix that. Uh, in the meantime, um, you know, it, it's like it's good enough for YouTube, so I'm, I'm not going to like freak out about it, but you can stop freaking out about it in those comments. Uh, but this is the slider. Okay, iFootage, cool box. I need like a knife or something. That'll work. Okay. In the box, we've got a couple of things. Some paperwork. We've got a USB-C to USB-A cable. Looks like we've got a little phone mount situation. I like this one. I might use that in other ways. Uh, and then underneath here is, ooh, that's, this is the slider itself. So this comes in a, like a whole kit with like a nice bag and like an extra battery, but I didn't want to spend like a hundred bucks extra for a bag because I've got a million different bags to put this thing in. Uh, so this is just like the basic kit, basic setup. Uh, they don't even give you a power brick, but um, um, there's plenty of those lying around here. Uh, so first impressions, it is got some heft to it. Um, and uh, yeah, it feels really solid, like especially compared to like some of the other sliders that are in this price range. It's just like, Anyway, so it's not even about like the weight or the feeling or like it's aircraft grade aluminum or like any of that stupid stuff. But uh, uh, for me, this was about a smaller form factor, a sturdier slide, um, a pan, uh, a pan access, and as well as the slide. You're not going to get tilt out of this. Um, but for this price point, compared to what you have to get in order to get footage that looks like what you get out of a slider. Uh, you'd have to spend five times as much. And that was certainly out of my budget range. And um, yeah, so this was the one. So I anticipate um, doing a couple of things with this, probably like one, having the ability to just like easily mount it to the desk so we get those sliding desk shots like you've seen before on the channel. But then also um, what's cool about this one is once it's mounted to a tripod, it slides and gives you even more of a range of motion than if it was just sitting on the table. So it's versatile in that way. Okay, the dog's gonna eat stuff. Hey, hey, no. All right, come on, you're banished. You're banished. You're banished. Out of this room. Go on, get out of here. Come on, come on, mama. Come on, mama. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Bye. All right, I'm gonna check these. I'm checking the comments. Oh, hey, Mario.
There's a link for the chest strap. Okay, so we've got a phone mount, we've got the USB-C to USB-A. I wonder if there's a... Uh... I need to plug this in. How do I want to do that today? All right, we're gonna go USB-C. Will it reach? Will it reach? Yes, it reaches. All right, looks like battery is gonna mount over here on this side. It's a Sony NPF battery. It's not any charged right now. Um, you've got power button and a function button, and then this is a touch screen. There's a locking mechanism so that you can lock the uh, the, the the platter, whatever they call this. The, lock the uh, thing from, from panning and tilting. There's also a lock over here that you push down and turn, and then you won't be able to slide that, but if you turn it, you can easily go back there. What I like about this is the ability to use it when it's powered off as well. I think that's, that's, that's a nice function. And then they've got on, uh, on two sides, they have leveling feet over here, and it's just a, a matter of a plus and minus uh, to get it to get it leveled out, and then there we go. So the bubble dial says level. Um, I guess I'm just gonna throw their little plate that they that they have on here for the phone, and we'll just. Well, I can't really use my phone right now because I'm live streaming this. Let me get a ball head and another camera. that lock button in so you can get a good tight fit and I'll just orient it straight ish okay Could use the M6 mark 2 this time power button over here. Let's see what happens. Nothing. <laughs> well, that's weird. enough juice. Well, that's not a good start. <laughs> uh, there should be plenty of juice going into this. So 
what is the problem? I guess we'll refer to the instructions. Okay, so where we are right now is this did not turn on. So let's see what this situation is here. Why won't it turn on? Is it dead on arrival? Because that's kind of what it seems like. I can't believe I'm reading the instructions to like even though the power button is right there, like I'm reading the instructions to make sure I'm using the power button, right? Like this is where we are. <laughs> this is so silly. Uh, okay, so on off switch, to press and hold it for three seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope, nothing. What I do notice is that the power button, when you touch it, is also moving the function button as well. All right, so that's not working. Oh, oop, it came on this time. So I, 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 I pushed the power button, I held it down, I pressed it over and over and over again. And after holding it for 10 seconds and then doing that again is when it finally turned on. Right now it's running like an auto calibration situation and that it's gonna do that every single time that it turns on. So leave yourself at least a couple of however long this takes seconds. Uh, hey Lauren, I, uh, I don't have a charged NPF battery right now at the moment, but I have it plugged in with USB-C power. So we got it to turn on with a little bit more effort than you would expect to have to put in to get it to turn on. All right, slider is level. 
So on the screen, it says, reminder, prior to auto calibration, ensure that no device is attached to the slider. The slider is level. This is what the screen looks like. And we are almost at 100% calibration. So what are we like two minutes in on the calibration situation right now? It's taking a little time and maybe it's just, this is the first time. So it's going to take a little bit longer, but not ideal. So what it's doing is it, it says that it's at 100% calibrated, but it just keeps like twitching back and forth a little bit. And it's kind of been on that cycle for A minute now, or a couple minutes now. All right, I'm going to turn it off. It turns off on the first try. Let me grab it. One, two, three, four, five. This is so weird. It should work better than this. This is not, this is not the experience that you want to have. One, two, three, for, all right, it turned on that time. So it's running through, I guess it's calibration, but if I look on the screen, like it doesn't say that it's doing anything. It just says eye footage on it. And it's kind of like spinning it around and such. Yeah, I just seem to have like a frozen screen here. 
Yeah, I would agree. It definitely seems like there's something wrong with this one. Seems like I got a bum unit. Darn. All right, powering off again. Let's try one, two, three. Okay. And now what? I'm definitely going to do more than return it. <laughs> there will be a sternly worded email for sure. <laughs> what do you think I should tell them about, uh, about it not working? Let me know in the comments. What do you think I should say? How many, how many WTFs should be in the email? All right. This is, wow. How sad is this? <laughs> like it really wants to do something. It seems to have a mind of its own. So y'all are on the live stream, but I'm actually recording like the unboxing video uh, for this. So um, <laughs> forget all those things I said at the beginning of this video. I'm still stuck with a slider that doesn't work very well. Um, I put it, if you, uh, if you want to make this right, uh, please reach out to me because this, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure you're better than this. Like. All of those other people can't be bullshitting everyone on the internet that like your products work better than this. Um, but this is my first dabble in the iFootage world and um, I'm not impressed with this one. All right. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't even know. I, that's... That's, that's the end of this video. Okay. I'm, I'm hitting stop on the recorder now. Bye. All right. Live stream, folks. I really appreciate you guys and gals and folks and all y'all. I really appreciate y'all watching um, this live stream. Um, no, I'm not leaving the live stream. Maca Power, what is your name? I, I wanna like actually, you're always here. Um, uh, yeah, so like, thanks for watching this, this live stream while I was doing this. I just, I just kind of like, sometimes, sometimes you just like need to start doing something to get started. And like the original title of this live stream was cleaning my studio, um, cause I had to clean some things up. So thanks for those who watched during that portion of this. Um, and, uh, gosh, I was really hoping that this was, uh, th this was, this was gonna be a winner. Hey, Maurice. Um, I, I was, oh, I'm so upset about this. <laughs> All right, Lauren. Yeah, it's like, I just, I don't, there's something wrong with this one. I mean, uh, with all the videos that have been out, like, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's got to just be something wrong with this one. Um, I'm actually noticing too, there's like some, some gunkiness with the logo here. Like, why is there crap on there? That's. That's weird. Why are you asking me questions about the moment and amorphic lens? We're not using one, but this is the moment fish. All right, 
Well, um, I'm going to end the live stream now, and I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to reach out to iFootage and give him a big old WTF. All right, I'll see y'all later.